all the high touch point areas were cleaned. Custodians uh, went in and, and cleaned specific classrooms. York High School closed its doors Monday after one person tested positive for COVID-19 and 50 students and nine teachers determined to be close contacts were required to quarantine. Systems are quite fragile here. When you have one case, it then it you know balloons out to you know over 50 people that need to quarantine. York School Superintendent Lou Gosinski says he pleads with his students to follow coronavirus prevention guidelines. I have to be honest with you, yes. There there is a sense of complacency. Complacency. It's something White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator Dr. Deborah Burks cautioned Mainers about during a mid-October visit. The reason we really are very concerned about the upper northeast in general is because you all have done so well and there's a level of complacency and fatigue that comes with that. In the past few days, Maine has seen a surge in coronavirus cases. 174 cases in just three days. Unfortunately, we expect that the number of new cases per day continue at this rate and likely move even higher in the coming days. CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah says Mainers must act now to stop the spread. The spike that we have foreshadowed is happening, and this is deeply concerning. Shaw says the recent cases don't stem from outbreaks, but rather it's spreading within communities and within households. The horse is getting further and further away from the barn. So what can you do? Simply what you've been asked to do for months. It is now today more important than ever to wear a mask, to stay six feet apart, and wash your hands. Hannah Deneen, News Center, Maine.